Welcome to MB Trading's online tutorial series. This presentation covers features related to stock trading with MB Trading. Before we get started, please take a few minutes to read through our legal disclosures on this slide. This presentation covers order entry using the MB Trading Desktop Pro platform for trading stocks. The following video will teach you how to set up a stop limit order with the MBT Desktop Pro platform for trading equities. First, you will choose the stock that you want to trade. For example, we will click on Cisco. And when we click on Cisco, you can see in our order entry panel the ticker symbol and the name of the stock that you are trading. You will then enter in the number of shares and from the type drop down you will choose stop limit. A stop limit order works in a similar fashion to a stop order in that you're entering above the current market for long positions and below the current market for short positions. However the difference is that you can set up an initial stop entry point and then a specified fill by limit price. For example, if you wanted to enter Cisco at $19 a share long, you would enter in a stop price of $19. You can also enter in a limit price of $19.10. What this does is it produces a 10 cent range to enter the trade. If you right click on the order entry screen and choose preferences, here at the bottom, you can see we have a stop limit offset. We have entered in a 10 cent stop limit offset. That means whenever you enter in a stop price, it will automatically set the limit price 10 cents away. As well, next to our stop limit drop down, you can see we have a buy and it's a 10 cent range between the stop and the limit price. Once we click on buy, in our open orders window, the stop limit will populate. So our initial stop price will be 19 a share. And then we have up to $19.10 to enter the trade, giving us a 10 cent range to enter this trade into a long position. We can cancel this or change it by right clicking and selecting change order or we can cancel it by right clicking and selecting cancel and choosing the order entry number. If we wanted to go short with a stop limit, that means we're entering below the current market price. For example, if we wanted to short Cisco at $16 a share, we would enter 16 into the stop price. Again, we have a 10 cent range so our limit price becomes $15.90, meaning we're going to enter the trade in between $16 and $15.90. We click on short and our trade populates in the open orders screen. You can also use a stop limit to exit a trade. For example, if we go long with a market order, we can then set up an exit with a stop limit. We choose stop limit. We enter in our stop price, so for example, perhaps 17 a share, and then our limit price will be 10 cents away from it. The advantage of a stop limit price is it gives you a specific fill range. This way, in case of volatile market conditions, you know you're going to be entered or exited within that specific range. We click on sell. And you can see here we have our active open position and in the open orders we have a sell on Cisco 100 shares with a stop price at 17 and a limit of 1690. And remember a stop limit order is one order type. It's either an entry or an exit with a specific range. In our next section we will discuss our TTO orders, our threshold triggered orders.